So being, being in Connecticut now, um, like there's no $40,000 houses, you know what I mean? Like, you, like a, a two bedroom house with one bath is like 150,000. That's, that's low. Okay. That's great. It's like, it's a lot. Of, so I'm thinking, you know, terms, I'm thinking like, what is, that's like, that's like a rent to own basically. Like, that, that, like I mean, I well, want ter- to yeah. that to them because a lot of people want to stay in Connecticut, but they can't really afford to live here. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they don't have the, the uh, they can't get a mortgage. They can't, they're trying to, uh, they have some money, you know, like, like they, you know, whether it be old money or, or money that they, they uh, put together themselves or whatever um, to put down on a house, but they can't get the mortgage. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's, that's, terms correct i mean like because i'm not really understanding i need something sent to me like how to explain this to these people to say like you know i want i know you want to stay in connecticut you can't get a mortgage we can do this rent to own thing but i need to like know how to explain this to them better do you have anything like that like you're talking about how to explain it to your potential buyer that you're going to finance the house for them if we get a house i mean not I've heard you say before, you want, if, if there's a house that you want, you think it's a good deal, like take it over from the person and then get someone into it, you know, for, to rent it, to own, like go that way, right, to mm-hmm. get yourself, then you can do something. Is that? Like we want to take title, right, to it, and then. Yeah. And then, yeah, there's, there's two transactions. There's the A to B transaction from the seller to you. And then there's the B to C transaction from you to your buyer. Okay. And those transactions can happen on the same day called the double closing, of course. And so what you do then is you just, when you're negotiating with the seller from whom you're buying the house, you're just going to get it under contract to purchase. And then you're just going to tell them, look, I'm going to line up my buyer before we close on this thing. Okay. So then while you're under contract with them, then you turn around and you go start marketing the property to find your buyer. And once you got them lined up and you've, you know, you've basically right in the ad, you're offering either rent to own or owner financing. Either way, they're going to make a down payment to you and a monthly payment to you. And the owner financing, like, is there something that I can, is there something you can like sign to us if you could explain it properly? Yeah, there's... There should be scripts in module six. Module six is where you'll find everything about buyers, marketing for them and pre-screening them and negotiating with them. Because I think a lot of, I mean, in Connecticut, it's just gonna be a lot of that because people, they can't really afford to live here, but they wanna stay here. Cause like they, their family lived here forever. They're kind of like us. Yeah. <laughs> can't really afford right. to live uh, here. It's not so, what it wants, but, you know, so there's gonna be a lot time. of, there's going to be a lot of that. So I'm, I'm trying to aim towards that. Yeah, no, that's fine. You're the way you ought to be looking at this when you're dealing with your buyers, you are simply offering a, an easy financing opportunity for them to purchase this house from you. It's still, you're still just selling the house to them. There is a price that they are paying for the house and they can go get their own financing with a bank if they want, or you'll finance it for them. You'll be the bank for them. And everybody, all the buyers are going to know that, Hey, I got to come up with a down payment, whether I finance it through you or a bank or whatever, there's going to be a down payment. There's going to be a monthly payment. There's no different. The only difference is that who they're sending the monthly payment to you or some other bank. Now, if you don't have a buyer right away, like, do you, do you have a, um, a time limit? Like, Okay. An out clause or something where if we can't find you, maybe say, well, sorry. Yeah, so we write up our purchase contracts with a 90-day close, and we only ever give them $10 earnest money. So if we have to cancel the contract, we just walk away from our earnest money, $10. And, and then sometimes I think you said you want to leave that open to when you can uh, – when you want to actual – like they fix their credit and then they get, they're able to get a loan say uh so you're talking about buyers i was just talking about sellers the 90 right. day thing I'm, I'm talking about buyers and um you know uh i mean the seller is probably going to want i don't know maybe they, you know they're probably going to want their money sooner than later right so the buyer can't get his 
he can't get his credit fixed for some reason and he's having a real hard time getting a loan or is there like a time limit that you can to yeah you give your buyers anywhere from 12 to 24 months to okay. get the thing cashed out refinanced and if they can't do that you That's just gotta you, get another buyer in there somewhere co correct if you're on a short timeline with the seller most sellers I mean, you, if you're using the scripts like it is in the training, right? You know, uh, you just have an indefinite time frame with them. That's what I'm trying to get at with and, the seller. Uh, okay. But you always have a definite time frame with your buyer. Okay, I got you. And um, yeah. Yeah, okay, indefinite. Um, uh, all right, that makes sense. That's the ideal scenario. Now, right. some sellers, like you said, they're going to want to get paid off within X number of years, and the minimum you want right. is three years. Okay. And that, um, and the money that you collect in the beginning goes towards the the, the mortgage payment from, that you collect. You're talking about the down payment from your buyer? Yeah. That goes towards the their purchase of the house from you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, all right. <laughs> all right i'm still kind of out there <laughs> yeah we're doing it brand new i mean we're yeah. just started you got the yeah. dialer thing i think yeah. kind of zero down so you really need down. call rail with that mojo down so call rail uh you could probably hold off on if again if you're on a tight budget the the first thing you'll need call rail for is to get a phone number to put on your website that's not your personal cell phone number now if yeah, you don't mind point. putting your cell phone up there then go ahead and do it